a lot of the times I feel like when we ask God for help or when we ask for a certain blessing, he doesn't necessarily give us that blessing immediately. He often will give us the first step toward that blessing. And we start a path toward that blessing. And I believe he immediately will help us toward it. I think he helped me toward what I wanted. But it took years for me to see that, oh, this was a path that actually worked. God had a plan. And, and now I get to do my favorite hobby as my job. Were there ever any moments along the way where you got frustrated and you questioned, is this really where I'm headed? It's taking so long and I want this to happen sooner. I think that's the whole game. <laughs> I, I think that patient, you know, who here really adores patience? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're a pretty special person if you adore the principle of patience. Because yeah. we want to move forward. We want action. We want results. We want those blessings. And a little bit of what James might be telling us is, hey, yeah, you can get to those blessings. And you have to have the patience to endure the transformation process that will lead you there. I want to ask the audience, when have you had to endure patiently while waiting for a blessing from our Heavenly Father? Pamela. You know, I really struggle with this one on a personal level. It's really hard to be patient. And I think that you have to allow yourself to be patient with patience. Okay. <laughs> Patience is something to endure. It's hard, especially in this culture where everything is now, now, now. Yeah. You want things now. And I find that even with prayer, you want an answer quickly. And I think with me, what I have to do is I have to be patient with being patient. And I have to trust it's not the destination. It is the journey. 